All right, like I said before, when I come to this front cover, those images, they're rollovers, they're interactive, but they just kind of sit there. So what I want to do is go to Window Menu, Interactive Animation. Okay, and I'm just going to click on one button here. And they have a preset. So let's say Fade In. Oh, let's see that. There we go. Okay, that barely fades in. It fades in so quick. So the duration, let's set this to three seconds. And click. Let's see if it'll play. Okay, hit return. There we go. See if that'll play back. Come on. Play back for me. Darn it. Come on. Play. Uh, okay, let's drop it down to two seconds. Hit return, click. All right, if I can't get it to play here, let's see what else is going on. Uh, let's do fly in from bottom. There we go. I click. Should be able to test that by clicking. So that's what it's going to do, fly in from the bottom. Let's do fade in again. There we go. Wasn't being patient enough. Okay. So let's do, that's what the fade in does. Let's do that at, I think one second's enough. Two seconds to be like, ha, ah, come on, show me my buttons already. So let's do that as on page load, it's going to fade in. Okay. Or we can do some other ones like, um, let's do, where is it? Gallop. There you go. They're all going to jump around like that. Okay, we'll just do it one time. So let's do gallop. Okay, and I'm going to do that for each one. Click, choose, gallop. Click, choose, gallop. Let's see if I can do multiple at the same time. Okay, I can. Gallop. Great. Click, shift, click, shift, click. And we'll set those all to gallop. All right. Now let's come to the, our preview panel, drag this out to cover everything, and I'm going to play back the information, play, and when it's uploaded, watch these nine buttons when this little blue bar finishes loading the information. Let's see if they gallop. Oh, wow. That's really slow okay I know they work but it does them in order and I'm sitting there waiting like okay I get it they gallop and I gotta go through that nine times that's ridiculous so with my animation I go to window interactive and timing okay I'm going to pull this down. This bar is what my media panel should have had. Darn it. Okay, on page load, these are all the ones that I've done for animations. But it's going to do them one, and then play that one, and then play that one, and then play that one. Well, I want them all to play at the same time. So I can click, shift click, and link those together. Play together. So now they're all bracketed together. I love that. So now let's come back in. Click the bottom right. Click the bottom left. And when the preview bar stops, let's see all these guys gallop in at once. Because I timed them and bracketed them to all work together. So here we go. Excellent. There we go. <laughs> I love that. All right, so we got that uh, timing. Let's close that. Great. I'm going to do one more down here just to show you a few other things. So I can click on this image, and we've got animation. Let's choose, um, let's see, fly in from left. There we go, flies in from the left. And what you have is this little path. 
it's going to fly in along this path. Now, technically, I could edit that with my white arrow and make it fly in at an angle or whatever. But I'm just going to do this. I just want to see if it works. Okay, so let's do that one just to try it out. Fly in from the left. I'll come over here. Click the bottom right. Click the bottom left. And let's see, once it loads this information, we'll have our buttons gallop on the page. And then I'll click on this guy and his file card should slide in from the left. Do our little gallop. Watch the left side of the page. There we go. Ah, I love that. Man, that's so cool. Uh, let's go back. Let's go forward. There's my slide in, awesome. Let's try a couple others. Let's do a different animation for each card. So I'm gonna come down here, click, and that one will fly in from the bottom. We'll scroll down. We'll do the four pages that we were experimenting with. Maybe that file card will fly in from the top. So now let's see what we get. I don't know if that's really flying in from the top, but let's see what it does. And let's click this one and let's see what else we got. Bounce. Oh, let's do dance. Let's see what that does. Ooh, it just shakes its booty there. Um, let's go spring left. Nah, I don't like the spring. Uh, let's see, move right, rotate. I don't want to rotate it because then we can't read it. Uh, I don't want to shrink it. Let's do a fade in. There we go. And let's go with that. All right, let's check it out. Click the bottom right, click the bottom left, and let's see what we get with those different animations. Okay, just giving you ideas to play with. You have all these animations I'm gonna leave that up to you to experiment, but let's see what we get with those few. So there's the gallop. Here's the fly in from the left. Here's the fly in from the bottom. There's the fly in from the top. And there's the fade in. I love it. You can do a different animation on every one. So really, really cool effects here with your interactivity. So I'm gonna hit Command S, save this one more time. And then the final tutorial is how to save this so you can send an interactive file to other people. You can't send them your InDesign file. You gotta send them a standalone interactive file. And we'll do that in the last tutorial.